Hi, and welcome to another episode of Sport Federation TV. I'm Linyuk Thachetti, and once again, I'll be your host. Remember, this is the show that showcases all the sport in the Western Cape. And now, proudly, we're partnered with Bashus to bring you all the exciting news. Today, we've got many fantastic and completely different sports to share news with you uh, about today. So starting first up, we're going to have figure skating. And joining me is three phenomenal young athletes from the sport of figure skating. We have um, Nicola Engel, Lauren Guenantin, and Catherine Winstanley. Welcome, how are you? Good thing. Thank you. Good thank you. Okay, for our guests at home, we know there's ice skating and there's figure skating. Can you please explain the difference to us, if there is a difference? Well, um, people often call figure skating ice skating, so I think the only difference would be is that you get ice hockey and speed skating as well. But then figure skating is made up of um, solo skating, pair skating, dance and synchronized skating. And um, in solo skating, you do um, a mixture of jumps, where you lift off in the air and uh, you rotate and land. You do spins, and then it's all about the artistry as well. And um, pairs and dance is similar. It's where it's a boy and a girl, but um, they do similar tricks and they do lifts together. And then you have synchronized skating, where? Yes, so synchronized skating, um, we have 16 skaters in a team all on the ice at the same time, doing the same steps at the same time, choreographed to music. And the focus is really on formation. So a lot of um, circles and squares and um, boxes. boxes. And we do um, something called an intersection. So we'll have lines coming together, moving through each other. So it's a lot of formations and shapes. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people, one of my favorite, favorite movies in the world is Blades of Glory <laughs> <laughs> with Will Ferrell. It's probably a lot of people's favorite movie. And, you know, you get some sort of insight into the amount of preparation and technical skill it takes to do this. So you guys are relatively, well, you're young. Um, how long now have you been doing this sport? Uh, I have been on the ice pretty much my whole life. I started when I was about three because my mom used to skate and I started competing when I was five. Um, I'm now 19, so I've been going my whole life. <laughs> yeah, 19, since you were five. Yeah. And when did you, when did you start competing? W when I was five. When you were five already, yeah. wow. And you? Um, well, I've been competing for 10 years. Um, I started a few years before that, but this will actually be my 11th um, competitive year in figure in synchronized ice skating. Synchronized and Lauren? Well, I've been skating since three, mm -hmm. but I've been probably competing since um, about six. I started off with so solo, and then I had to like um, stop because of injuries. But yeah, probably for a very long time, solo mm -hmm. and synchro. I mean, when, you, when you're on the ice, you, you must feel like you're flying. <laughs> hey, uh, besides that amazing feeling, what's so wonderful about your sport? Well, for you, personally. Um, for me, I think it's wonderful because it's both athletic and artistic as well. So it's like a combination of dance and, you know, you have to be a proper athlete because um, you use like so many muscles and it's so mm. tiring. But I think it's a great combination. It's such a well-rounded sport and I mean the competition and like just the feeling on the ice as well. And it's also very challenging mm. and yeah, I just enjoy being able to travel and do something I love at the same time. See the world and meet, meet people from all over. I think it's great. Okay. And with you? Um, I think it's amazing being a part of a team. Yeah. So with the Synchro team, we have to learn to rely on each other and rely on your teammates and that together you can achieve more um, through, yeah, that collaboration, working together. Yeah, absolutely. Lauren, um, uh, which kind of uh, figure skating do you specialize in maybe? Um, I do at the moment synchronize. Synchronize yes. as well. So you've got the individual competition, uh, yeah, and then you the also do duos, like like in Blades of Glory, <laughs> and then you, and then you have the synchronized swimming, and all would probably train your mind and uh, expectations differently. Hey, mm. yeah. okay. So 
on the 2nd of May, there's going to be this amazing exhibition event. Will you tell our viewers a little bit more about that? Sure. Well, we have our national competition coming up, um, but it's being held in KZN. And so in order to showcase the skaters that are going to be traveling and competing, we're having a gala performance next Tuesday, the 2nd of May. And it's um, all the skaters that are going to be competing in the national competition will be skating for the public in order to showcase our work and what we've been doing over the last few months. Okay, wonderful. And um, so, I mean, there's been the build up now to your national event in KZN. Uh, what have been some of the other highlights for the year? Uh, well, we had a competition in KZN as well, which I guess was nice for us to prepare for nationals. It was in March, and then we had a competition in Western Province, just for Cape Town. And then um, I think a few of us did different competitions. I was overseas in Abu Dhabi in January to compete for solo um, figure skating. And yeah, I think yeah. so we have so far. <laughs> Okay, you know, many people don't know that this was the first sport to be introduced into the Winter Olympics way back in 1908. So you guys have a very, you'll have a bright future ahead of you. Hey, yeah. I mean, over and above what you've already accomplished. So um, with the KZN Championship, would all of you be attending that? Yes. Yes. Okay, and then you select the national squad from that championship. No, um... We, the KZN Championships will be the national championships. Will be the national yeah. championships. Yeah. Okay. Personally for you, or in your opinion, what are some of the challenges that your sport is facing, or individuals in the sport? Um, well, the ice skating world is very small, and so, especially with the synchro teams, sometimes we struggle to put a team together because of, of the lack of um, upcoming skaters and younger skaters coming into the sport. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's a challenge for us, is there aren't enough young skaters coming in. Yeah, and the facilities as well. I, yeah. I, I mean, you've got one big venue yeah. in the Western Cape at Grand West. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Could I mention something for yes, the solo? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, because I find what's difficult for the solo, and I know the singer have um, a bit of trouble with it as well, is that because skating is not as well known in South Africa, it's very hard for us to find sponsorship. Yeah. So even if we do represent the country, um, it's like we it's have tough. to pay for it, it's, it's, we don't get um, as much exposure as would be nice. Mm. Um, so I think that's one of the main difficulties that we face. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a running theme with, with the smaller, uh, smaller, less exposed sports. Mm. Um, look guys, we wish you all the best Thank you. with your Thank you. KZN Championship. And after the break, we're going to be speaking to some of your peers mm. from your sport as well. Okay, uh, so Lauren, Nicola, and um, and Catherine, uh, best of wishes Thank for KZN. You. And we'll be chatting to you again, hopefully, when you return from there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, folks, so don't go anywhere. After the break, we'll be talking to uh, some other phenomenal athletes from the sport of figure skating. And we're back. You're tuned into Sports Federation TV. And we've returned with what, with what must be one of the most mesmerizing sports to watch. I'm very proud to introduce Shenika, Nicholas, and Penelope from the sport of figure skating. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Penelope, you are an administrator for Western Province. Can you tell us a little bit more about your roles and responsibilities? So we have a chairperson of our Western Province uh, Figure Skating Association, and I'm currently the vice chairperson. Um, with that we work together with the um, local committee. Um, it's, it's a role of running the local competitions, um, doing some fundraising and proposals, doing all the things that need to be done, such as um, organizing ice time and uh, looking at uh, coaching appointments. So really all the things that are involved in, in keeping the sport going. Okay, so in terms of, of gender, with most of the sports being um, male dominated, um, is that true also with your sport? I would say that figure skating by virtue of being its performance sport, it is um, a 
probably dominated one would say then would be the right way of by by the women in the sport by the by the female um, but we also have really excellent uh, skaters amongst our, our young boys and and our men mm. um, and a lot of our coaches are are, are men of we also have women, so I'd say that the, the coaches, um, there's good representation from both genders. Um, and in skating worldwide, certainly um, it's, it's male and females do the sport. Mm. Nicholas van der Feyfer, you are a very young man in the sport of figure skating. When did you start doing this? Well, I started five years ago. Um, in, well, now I'm in grade six. I started in grade one. Uh, yeah, I s it was I think it was 2011 or 2012. Um, yeah, I started five years ago. I've been skating for five years. How did you get involved with the sport? What drew you to it? Um, well, um, my friend took me to the ice station once, and I s told my mom I'd. I want to come back here sometime <laughs> and she took me the next weekend and yeah my a co um, we joined the club there and one of the coaches um, recognized me and like, said that I should um, start figure sk solo skating and yeah she's been my coach for now five years. Wow very fortunate hey yes. to have been exposed so young that you know what your mm. passion is. Shenika how did you get involved with the sport of figure skating? Well, my first time I skated, I actually fell and hit my chin open and got stitches. So I didn't think I would come back. But then I did ballet for so many years and I stopped ballet, but I wanted to do something that's kind of the same. So then figure skating was the other option. Wow, that, that's impressive. Most people would be put off by, I mean, even yours was like a mildly traumatic event, but uh, yeah. Kudos to you. So Penelope, where are most of the events for figure skating held in the Western Cape? Well, one of our challenges in the Western Cape is that we only have one ice rink. Grand so West. So that's at Grand West. And it's, it's a really, really world-class ice rink. So for that, we're very fortunate. Um, good ice, nice environment. But it is the only one. So all our competitions, all our practice times, um, everything happens at, at, at the West. Grand West um, Ice Station. Yeah, and you, you, you guys usually have an audience when you are there, because uh, when I've been there uh, a few times, uh, there's always people just watching, just watching what yes. the professional and semi-professional skaters are doing. It's, it's yeah. just lovely to watch. <laughs> that yeah. is true. People yeah. do just pop by and, and watch. Um, and I think it's a, it is a beautiful sport. Um, mm. It's one of those sports that is a lovely performance sport. It's very artistic, but it's also uh, very physical and requires a lot of practice. And it's, um, so I think that's why it appeals mm. uh, to, to the skaters. So Shenika and uh, Nicholas, will you also be going to KZN? Yeah. Yeah, both I of you. I will be, she'll, I think she will also be. Which events will you be competing in? I will be competing in the novice synchronized skating section and as well also the junior synchronized skating section. Yeah. I'm, I'm competing in the pre-novice boys section because I didn't qualify for, uh, for novice boys section. So I'll be skating just in pre-novice and I will be skating novice synchro. You have to train quite often, yes. hey? Yes. How often do you train? Uh, I train six days a week, but for synchro specifically, I only train three days a week. Wow, that's a lot of time to put in over and above. I guess you guys are still at school as well. Okay, so our Western Province team is, is training quite hard. How many medals can we expect, Penelope? Well, we are the province uh, in the country with, uh, at the moment, the most skaters will attending our national competition. So we will be well represented at nationals. 
and um, although we go with stiff competition from the other provinces and we don't expect it to be easy for all of our skaters we certainly expect to bring an, a number of gold medals and and silver and bronze back so we we're certainly optimistic for that okay wonderful well, we wish you both all the luck with the Thank rest you. of your team Thank and maybe you'll come back and share some news and show us your your medals okay, okay. Um, well folks uh, that's it from figure skating for today remember to stay tuned in because later on in the show you're going to have an opportunity to win a case of Cape Town's favorite cool drink, Bashu's, an assorted case of Bashu's cool drink. So keep your phones ready for that announcement later. After the break, we'll be back with urban calisthenics and uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs>